All right, we are gonna have some fun today. We are gonna talk about the top 10 style moments of 2023. And I'm not talking about the most outrageous, craziest catwalk viral style moments of the year. It's not that kind of video. I'm talking about the outfits that when you see them, you are like, that is a look. That is an outfit that I would wanna wear. And I'm doing this countdown style. So we're gonna start with number 10. Be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to see my number one style pick of the year. And I also have a few bonus couple style outfits. So let's get into it, number 10. All right, coming in at number 10 is Anne Hathaway and her Paris fashion look. If we break down this look, she has on a navy trench a simple white crew neck sweater, a crop wide leg denim and silver boots, which I'm going to say Walmart has a pair that looks very similar to that on sale right now. She's wearing a Valentino tote bag, more rectangular sunglasses and something that I know you should really never say never, but I can pretty confidently say you will never see me in is that newsboy cap, although it looks great on her. I just personally can't wear them. Recently, her and her stylist, Erin Walsh, who also styles for Selena Gomez, who may or may not also be on our list, have thrown back a lot to her Devil Wears Prada days, which is just a classic fashion movie, and that's why she's made our list. And number nine is Hailey Bieber. She had so many stylish looks this year, but no, I am not talking about the hilarious meme. I don't know if it was supposed to be funny, but her in the red dress, Justin in the sweats, was probably the most, well, I take it back, Taylor Swift, and Travis Kelsey was probably the most popular Halloween costume I saw with Hailey Bieber and Justin right behind it. Will they ever get on the same fashion page? I couldn't tell you. That wasn't the look that made our list today. Back in May, she wore this outfit in New York. It is a butterscotch look. With that boxy oversized coat, she embraced this trend right away. She was also wearing all black accessories, her cat eye sunglasses. She has on loafers with the socks which definitely is a nod to that collegiate trend that we've been seeing in a black Ferragamo bag. I don't think I could necessarily pull off that short, short, short of a skirt, but I think I could pair this with a straight leg pant, give this look a go. It looked very chic. There's been so many different micro trends over the last few years in fashion, but the beginning of the summer did bring us the tomato girl aesthetic, which I'm not quite sure. Are we supposed to be picking tomatoes on the coast of Italy? Am I supposed to go rummage through my grandmother's closet looking for that perfect red print? But either way, this is the most red that I've worn in years. So I'm giving number eight to Khloe Kardashian for this adorable mini me moment. She's hitting the trend, but their sundresses do look updated in that larger bold floral print. A plus in my opinion. And number seven is Selena Gomez. In general, I thought she really turned it up this year. She had a lot of looks that could have made this list, but I'm gonna have to give it to one look in particular because I think she achieved something that pretty much none of us could do. In September, she was seen in Paris in a short suit. Before you click away, let's break this look down. Stay with me here. There is a lot going on. She has the gray suiting, a blue button down that she's left open with a more white fitted blouse underneath with this very stylish oversized blazer. But then we get to the pants and she has a crop trouser that looks like she literally just cut the bottom off of it. So it's kind of like a gaucho, kind of like a Bermuda short, but it's still different. She had other looks that I loved, but she makes the list for achieving the impossible. And number six is Katie Holmes at New York Fashion Week. I think she's a staple on most of these top style lists, but I've never been more obsessed with her as I was when she rolled out in these sequined zebra pants at Michael Kors. So not only are they a zebra print, but we threw sequins on top of those. And what I like best about this outfit, even though it is the perfect flair, I mean, it's just very well executed, but she was so classic and simple on top. It was just a black turtleneck, a black blazer, really proving that we don't have to go completely costume all the way out there to achieve a fun trend. I would totally wear this. And as a matter of fact, I loved this Katie Holmes outfit so much that we covered this earlier in the year on the blog. So if you didn't know, on my website, madisonpainstyle.com, we have a whole slew of celebrity looks on a budget. So I will link that below if you're interested. This is actually not a point on my list, but I would give the most fashionable event of the year, Move Over Met Gala. I think it belongs to Wimbledon. It was some of the most stylish outfits I saw all year long but my favorite outfit, which is number five on our list, has to go to Ariana Grande in her all gray outfit. I have been trying to find the perfect grout fit ever since seeing this outfit. 
Sometimes you just see a good combo that you know you wanna try, and this is one of those moments for me. So the details on this look is that she's wearing a Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater. She has a matching wool midi skirt, which was arguably the length of the year. She's carrying a khaki classic trench coat, and she has black bags and shoes. I love the detail of the circular colored Tiffany sunglasses that she's wearing and a more athletic ball cap. I do love that she can show up to a sporting event Throw on her ball cap with an otherwise elegant outfit. I think she nailed this. And number four, okay, I really tried to keep red carpet looks off of this list, but if I just close my eyes and I think of the perfect evening gown, the best red carpet look, I have to give it to Zendaya in this Giorgio Armani dress that she wore at the Screen Actors Guild. First of all, no one does a red carpet like her. She had so many looks that could have made this list, but this dress is just stunning. It has those feminine rosettes on it, the perfect color pink. My dream dress would probably look something like this. It's stunning. But if we're gonna exclude red carpet looks, I loved the head to toe animal print that she did. Are we calling this cheetah print, leopard print, zebra? I'm not quite sure, but if I could pull this off going anywhere, I would 100% wear this. And I think it's good news for us animal print lovers out there, because if she's in it, I think it's locked in for at least another year. And number three goes to Sophia Ritchie, who is arguably the fashion it girl of the year. She's the daughter of Lionel Ritchie. Her sister is Nicole Ritchie both very fashionable. She comes from a really fashionable family, but she was really brought quiet luxury to the forefront of her style this year. And she's had an incredible style transformation since about 2020. She really broke out after being in the 2017 Chanel fashion show and has just been getting better and better ever since. But in April, she got married and between her wedding looks and her honeymoon looks, the fashion was incredible. I mean, really any of her looks would have been a contender on my list, but y'all, this vintage Chanel dress that she wore as a swimsuit cover-up, I don't know if I should be horrified or really impressed. Is it supposed to be a swimsuit cover-up? But she had it on with classic Ray-Bans, just a basic thong flip-flop sandal, and Chanel's Beachwood vanity case. What a summer bag, what a look. She nailed this. All right, number two, things are really heating up, goes to Kate Moss, the icon herself, I feel like Icon gets thrown around so much these days, but when she was walking in the runway show at Bottega Veneta, she came out in what looks like a plaid jacket and pair of blue jeans. I would wear this. I think she looks effortlessly cool in it, but what I loved about this outfit is that it's printed leather. So the top is a printed leather as well as the pants. I think this is such a cool look, and in general, she's just the best there's ever been, so number two. All right, this is your last chance. Place your bets. Let me know what you think number one is gonna be down in the comment section, but it has to go to Margot Robbie and the entire Barbie core hot pink mania that we have now all lived through this year. We've all survived this year. Actually, I loved this trend. It was very difficult to pick one look from just this epic press tour. Margot Robbie really committed to the bit. I mean, full head to toe Barbie costume. One that really stood out to me in a sea of pink was when she did this replica of the 1960s Barbie in that black strapless dress. It was probably my favorite red carpet look that she did, but I'm actually gonna have to give it to her airport outfit. So stay with me here. She was at the airport in this vintage pink Chanel blazer that was originally worn by Claudia Schiffer, who was also having a major moment. Dua Lipa, Sophia Ritchie, Margot Robbie all were replicating her 90s looks which really just cements in the trend that if it is 90s inspired, you can wear it right now. So for this airport outfit, she had it on with a classic chino pant, that Barbie inspired luggage, a black structured bag, that black Chanel belt, and she did finish off the look with those two-tone slingbacks that were first made popular in the 60s that I also saw everywhere this year. This look to me is a little bit more baby shower, garden party, ladies who lunch than necessarily airport style, but I get it. That girl was being seen everywhere. And I just think it's really cool that a movie could influence fashion so much. I just thought this whole thing was really cool and really well done. I feel like the infomercial guy, but wait, there is more. So we're gonna get into best couple style and best squad. I actually have three call outs for couple style. Number three is Matthew McConaughey and his wife, Camilla. 
They just look like the coolest couple ever in this cream suiting. They have their matching sneakers on. Camilla in this look could have made my top 10 list by herself, but they looked fabulous together at the US Open. And number two goes to Idris Alba and his wife, Sabrina. I'm not sure couple styling gets any better than them, whether it was at Wimbledon on the red carpet, on the cover of a magazine. They have just had a phenomenally good looking year. They're a gorgeous couple. But that photo shoot in Dubai that Sabrina was in the full suiting, that tuxedo, and Idris was a little bit more casual. That was a good look, y'all. Which I know we're talking about fashion here, but if you have not seen him in Hijack on Apple TV, it is a good one. And this was so, so close, but I have to give number one couple style to Victoria and David Beckham. In France, they had this soft color palette. They were in this linen with this dreamy, flowy fabric. And they're another one that they had phenomenal style all year long. This is not a TV recommendation video, but another one that if you haven't seen their docuseries on Netflix, it was adorable. You don't have to be a soccer fan. It's one that I could definitely rewatch. And the fashion was great in it, whether it was their current style or the throwback fashion, I really enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, and for the Beckhams, let's go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the soccer ball emoji. So leave that for me below in the comments so I know you stuck it out with me right to the end of the video. But last up, we have best in squad. What was the best dressed girl gang that we saw all year? I know a lot of you are gonna expect me to give this to Taylor Swift because we have just been seeing so much of her as of late and her and her friends, they're cute, they're cute. But no, we had to go all the way to Milan to find our best in squad photo. Every outfit was top tier, but I have got to give it to Naomi Campbell for her all monochromatic cream outfit. She has those matching Fendi thigh high boots, that modified asymmetrical skirt. There is a lot of fabric going on and she is pulling it off. There is basically nowhere that I have to wear this to, or I would try. This is a gorgeous outfit. And I mean, the longer that I look at Naomi Campbell, I feel like I might be changing my mind. It might be my favorite outfit of the whole year. So let me know below. And that does wrap up today's top 10 style moments of 2023. I had so much fun putting this video together and I would love to know who do you guys think I missed? What was your favorite style moment of the year? Especially if you love to follow fashion, what really stood out to you, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.